Hey, this is Lucas. How you doing? They got a Klausing 6903. It's a 6900 series. It's a 15-inch lathe. And uh, it's a really good lathe. It's in great shape. Uh, it's gone, been gone through, most of it's been gone through. Uh, I've checked all the outboard gears. This is, uh, this is all, uh, this part of the quick change system is all in an oil bath. And the headstock has an oil bath. The apron has an oil bath. So it's actually got three separate uh, oiling systems. And, and this is uh, really nice because uh, the fact that this is enclosed and in an oil bath keeps the oil in, obviously, but keeps the swarf out of the gears in the quick change. Uh, everything works on it. The uh, directional control works. Back gear, uh, on-off switch. And, uh, in fact, uh, I went through the uh, counter shaft on this and uh, Replace the uh, bushings and the variable speed drive, so those have been done. The uh, bearings have all been replaced in that part of the lathe uh, where they were uh, required. Uh, it's got a three-jaw chuck. It's got quite an enormous three-jaw chuck in it. This is about a 10-inch or 12-inch uh, chuck. Uh, some of the uh, accessories that it's got, it's got... Uh, oh, uh, one of the nicest things that it's got is that uh, steady rest. The steady rest is uh, difficult to come by and they're, they're usually expensive on these clausings. Uh, it's got the four jaw chuck, it's got a dog driver uh, face plate, that one, and then it's got a, you know, a more versatile uh, face plate, uh, the larger diameter one here. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, uh, right now it's got this 200 series tool post on it. We're going to show it cutting and uh, I believe I'll sell it with that on there and uh, it's got it'll have five uh, holders on it. It's got this motor. It's an enormous motor. It's down in the uh, plinth here of course. Uh, it's got the uh, guard. That's the uh, chip guard up there for the chuck. Uh, let's see. The uh, It's got a, a nice uh, Morse taper 3 tail stock and in fact it's got a, a knockout for the Morse taper tangs which is cool. Uh, let's see, the uh, end of it's got the, uh, this cabinet and uh, the cabinet's got three shelves in it. Uh, we'll open that up here. Show what that looks like. Nothing really special in there, just a, a little extra storage. That's always handy. It does have a clutch handle uh, here, which is present. And it's got one for this end, but I'm actually in the process of rebushing that. So the clutch handle will be replaced on this end. So it's actually got two clutch brake handles. Here's the threading dial. It's got that on it. Uh, and the variable speed system will uh, show this in operation now and that, uh, that that works. So here goes that. Take it out of gear here. Uh, so uh, you're right about that halfway point on the speed. That's highest speed. I'm thinking that's around 2,500 RPM. I'm going to check that. But uh, speed stays in whatever uh, whatever you select. No problem. It just locks right in. So the uh, variable speed system is working fine. So we're going to take it out of gear now. We're actually uh, pretty phenomenal. We're getting, uh, we're getting chips like this. I don't know how well that shows up, but it's uh, it's like a perfect chip. It's blue, which is nice because we're using carbide. It's uh, beefy because uh, we're taking a pretty hefty cut, and uh, it's very uniform, which indicates to me that uh, you know, all the feeds and everything are working well, and there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of play in the uh, in the cross light. So there's the chip forming right there. It's just rolling right off of that. Beautiful. Comes out silver, turns blue, and it's uh, contact. Actually, uh, here we can see how much material we're taking off and what kind of surface finish we're getting. The surface finish is going to be a little warm here, but the surface finish is actually phenomenal. It's in great shape. And uh, here's our uh, tool. It's a uh, three-cornered uh, carbide tool. So I'm going to continue. I'll take this down. Uh, the, uh, the spindle uh, is a uh, one and three-eighths uh, ID. So we're actually taking this down to just slightly under one and three-eighths. 
so that we can uh, flip this around and put it in the other way. Uh, the uh, nose on the spindle is an L00 and it's a 15 inch lathe with a L00 nose. So actually that's kind of a nice uh, a nice combination. You've got the combination of strength from the, the fact that it's a 15 inch and you can take a tremendous cut with it. And also uh, the L00 is great because there's a lot of tooling out there for that size. So uh, that's the uh, that's the the system that's on here. Uh, should mention too that the uh, the cross slide here and the compound uh, there's almost no play in this one. Uh, lead screw on the uh, on the carriage is great. It's a uh, huge. I think it's over an inch. It's either an inch or over an inch in diameter. That's one inch, uh, and that's in good shape. 